In this video I'm showing how I removed a small section of tile in our family room. This was part of a larger project where I was redoing the floors in this room. Most of the floor was covered in carpet which comes up easy enough, but we did have this small area of tile right in front of the door. Luckily it wasn't too complicated to remove, and I'll show how I did that now. This does generate some dust, so I put up some plastic drop cloth to help keep it out of the rest of the house, and also a fan in the doorway to maintain negative airflow. To remove the tile I'm using this SDS hammer drill. This is a red one, it works fine. There are also yellow ones, blue ones, and green ones. They all cost about the same amount, and they all do about the same thing. To chip up the tile, I'm using a SDS chisel bit. It's just a regular SDS bit, except for the end has a chisel head on it for getting underneath of the tile. And I'm using the hammer setting on the drill where the bit doesn't spin, and it just goes back and forth like a mini jackhammer. And if you're going to do this, use all the standard safety stuff, and a pair of knee pads doesn't hurt either. The way this is done is I'm just putting the chisel bit up to the edge of the tile and busting it up. The tiles actually come up pretty easily, so if you have a smallish area like this, then you can make pretty quick work of it. I'm paranoid about breathing any of this stuff in, so I had to step away for a second and grab a mask. But there's really not a whole lot more to it beyond what you've seen so far. In both of my experiences doing this, chipping the tile up was actually the easy part. Most of the time spent was from getting all of the mortar off of the slab. A wider chisel bit would probably help, but for the most part, it's just crappy work that you have to keep on until it's done. This is the finished product. From start to finish, this area took me probably about an hour. And some of that was lost with fiddling around with the camera and the tripod and cleaning up afterwards. But hopefully this gives you an idea of if this is a good approach for whatever project you're working on. Alright, that's it for this video. Hit like if it was helpful, and thanks for watching.